Hey guys, my name is Nikki and I want to welcome you here to Carrie Grace. Alright, so today's video is going to be my mid-year planner picks for 2018. This is a video that I have done several years in a row. This is something that I usually post at the very beginning of July, but I had a different planner video that was going live at the beginning of the month, so I decided to space them out so that you didn't get bombarded with planner videos. I know some of that you like them, some of you don't, so that's the reasoning behind that. All right, so today I'm gonna jump in and share with you the planners that I'm using now that we are halfway through the year and what I will continue to use for the remainder of 2018. The switches that I made for my personal planner I did make fairly early in the year and it has been working so, so well. When things were kind of not working super well for me, something that I did is I quit looking at all of the people that I follow that have planner accounts. I just kind of took a break. I quit looking at other accounts. I quit posting pictures of planners and things like that. And I really just tried to focus on what really worked for me without having any kind of outside influence. And it really made such a difference. All right, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what I'm using the rest of the year. All right guys, so I started off 2018 in these two planners. This was my main planner. This is a plum paper planner. It does have an Erin Condren cover on it. This is what it looks like. I used this for a little bit, but I just found that it just wasn't working. And I was so aggravated because I was sure that I was gonna stay in this for a long time. The other planner that I started the year off in is this mini happy planner. Now I wasn't using this as a planner when I started off the year. I used it just as a notebook. And it seems like I have a video on that. If I do, I'll try to link that either up above or down below so that you can see. But as I continued on throughout the year, I realized how much I really liked this mini happy planner. I had taken the monthly view and attached them together. When I was using it as a notebook, it really just had a bunch of notes pages. I used it for lists and things like that. But I ended up kind of ungluing all my pages and putting it back together as a planner. And I found that this size has been great for me. The biggest reason I jumped from this to this is because the Happy Planner offers a lot more versatility for me. I found that I kind of get bored with layouts sometimes. Sometimes during the year I'm busier than others and I need just kind of different things work better. And the Happy Planner really allows me the versatility that I need. So now, let me flip to some months that don't have anything in here. I did have this chunked up really big. You can see I just have the regular size rings on here. These are not the mini rings. At one time I did have the expander rings. This thing was super chunky. But I found that right now I just have the last six months of the year in here. And I use this a ton. I use my monthly view for just about everything. Any kind of appointment, vacation days, school holidays, just anything that I need to see at an overview gets put right here. And then I use my weekly pages to keep up with everything. Here's a look kind of at a few examples. Some days I just kind of keep my meal plans kind of here at the top of each day. And then I would have appointments here to the left and then kind of my to-do list for the day on the right. That works really well. And then I keep like a running kind of to-do list right here that is just things that I need to do that aren't specific to a day. Other times, you can see, kind of done the same thing. Most of the year, I do not use a lot of stickers. This is during the summertime, these layouts that I'm showing you. And I have kind of been playing with stickers a good bit during the summertime, but typically, I don't really have a lot of time to do that. I just need a plan. I need to put my stuff down and be able to work with it. Sometimes I like to plan where I just put very minimal things right here, just kind of an overview, and then I will use a daily page. I'll just kind of block out the times, and then I'll just have one big running to-do list, and then just kind of some reminders that I need. And then there's nothing on the back of this one, but sometimes I will just scratch notes and things right here. 
and then it just keeps this really simple and that's just how I do it. The biggest thing is it works for me and I'm keeping it simple. I'm not concerned with decorating or things like that. I just need a place to really keep up with everything. I have also added several sections and that's another thing that has made this really work for me because the Happy Planner, like I said, it's very flexible and you can add things to it. This is a separate extension pack that I purchased. I believe I purchased this one at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to flip back a couple of months so that you don't see what I have planned, but this is the section that I'm using for my content, like my YouTube and Instagram, things like that. This is where I keep an overview of all of the videos that I have planned for the month. And then I've got places to keep up with all the little things that I'm working on and need to do for YouTube. And this has been great. I've really been focusing on growing my YouTube and Instagram and things like that. And having these lists kind of set up for me has been huge when it comes to being productive for me. So I really enjoy having this in here. I haven't really used these a ton. There's like a daily to do's that comes with this pack and I have them in here, but I haven't really utilized them. I may at some point for right now, I just have three months worth in this section and then I can add more when I need to. All right. So the next section I have is another extension pack. That's, like I said, I know I keep saying it. One thing I really like about the happy planner is all the things that you can add to it. I'm not going to show you. Let me flip. Let's see. It's really just a blank cap. I've only, I only have one month at a time in here for this, but this is kind of what I'm using as a place to kind of track my wellness and fitness type goals. I thought about using the fitness pack that they have, but I just kind of like this better. It's just the regular extension pack. And what I'm doing is on the monthly page, I'm not going to show it to you. That's where I keep up with my weight. I've got some goals listed on there. And then also I schedule in my workouts that I want to do. They haven't really been happening right now because it's summertime, but I'm still putting it out there. And then on this page, I can really just kind of keep up with anything that I want to. I just kind of journal in little things. Like if there's some things like um, had a great day, got in a walk or had a great workout. I need to work on this, this or this or things like that. So it's really just kind of for me to kind of keep up with those. But it's but because it's not an actual fitness planner, like I'm not keeping it with meals, I'm not keeping it with things like that. I'm just kind of journaling my thoughts and things like that. The next section is just kind of my notebook section. I keep up with all of my meal plans in here. Every two weeks I sit down and make a meal plan for the next two weeks. From here I use this list. I sit down with my phone to fill out my Walmart grocery pickup list and so I don't actually keep a paper grocery list anymore. I just add it to my app and then I just have more, I have other kind of lists back here. Um, just all kinds of things, home related, just running to-do list, things like that. And I just kind of keep all of that here. So this is what I'm using now. It's working really well. I was very surprised to find that I really like the mini size. I've always kind of used more of the classic type size planner. But for whatever reason, this has just really worked. I think part of it is because it is so small, I don't feel like I have to decorate it. Most of my things just kind of fill up the page and keep it very practical, so I really like that. All right, so the next planner that I have mid-year is my new homeschool planner. And again, I switched to a happy planner. I've never used the happy planner for a homeschool planner, but I'm very excited about doing it this year. The biggest reason that I made the switch, again, is simply for the versatility. Because of the disk system, I can add things in and out, which is great. I like that I can just add things for co-op, things like that. I haven't started doing anything in here yet, simply because we haven't started planning for our year yet. But another thing that I really like is the other planners that I've used in the past, they kind of had a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of different sections that I ended up not using, thought I would use, really didn't use. And this is very simple. I like that the months and then the weekly view is all together in one spot. 
and then you just go to the next month and it is a full year which is nice the other thing that i really like is the checklist section the planner i used last year did not have this and it made it very hard for me to really stay on top of keeping up with grades like recording them promptly I had them they were just in stacks but i really like that this is in here these are the pages that i do like to keep it with test scores and things like that so i really like that this is in here this one did come with a folder so i can keep important things in here as needed and then also i can just add any kind of note paper in here that i want to keep up with notes. I do feel like this is the simplest system I've ever had as far as planning. I feel like one planner for everything and then another planner for homeschooling is exactly what I need. Like I said, I can't explain enough how good this has been for me to be able to just put what I need in here and then take it out, move it around, things like that. If I want to keep a full year of things in here, I can add the bigger discs, but I really like keeping it at this size. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this planner video. If you enjoy planner videos, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know. I try to only post one or two planner videos each month. Like I said, I know some of that you like them, some of that you don't but I really do enjoy planners and I really enjoy sharing them with you guys. If you are new here and not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and then hit the little bell so that you don't miss any videos from me. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll see you guys soon.